President Bola Ahmed Tinubu has, within barely two months of grabbing, uh, grabbing the mantle of leadership, implemented what we consider toxic economic policies that have adverse effect on the already impoverished youths and the masses. One of such toxic policies is the total removal of fuel subsidy on 29th May 2023 during Mr. President inaugural speech, uh, speech without first providing the necessary palliatives. Gentlemen of the press, it happened that as soon as that announcement was made, the NMPC being a government-owned agency that deals with oil, quickly moved the oil price to, from 189 per liter to begin to sell between 480 naira to 570 naira per liter, which was a more than 200% increase. This caused transport fares and the uh, prices of essential goods to skyrocket across the country. Nigerians were direct, deceived when the subsidy was removed that it will promote competition and efficiency in the oil sector and drop prices naturally. We are yet to see that. Rather, what we see was to wake up on Tuesday, 18th July 2023, to read the news of further increase of oil price from uh, to 617 naira per litre. One can only imagine the strain infl inflicted on the wider population of Nigerians who have to survive with monthly minimum wage of 30,000 naira only. This has caused most men and women on the streets to begin to rewrite the biblical book of Lamentations as they are found at motor parks, marketplaces, and newspaper stands complaining about the new Shege economy, which is synonymous with hardship. To make matters worse, the National Assembly recently amended the 2022 supplementary budget and allocated 70 billion naira to support working conditions of their new members. On the other hand, the sum of 500 billion naira was approved for President Tunubu to share among 12 million poor households with each household receiving 8,000 naira for a period of six months to cushion the ripple effects of fuel subsidy removal. We condemn the insensitivity behind this type of policy and urge that it be jettisoned in its entirety. If Mr. President wanted to provide palliatives for the so-called poor household, he should have done so before removing the fuel subsidy. And that is our position. His action, therefore, in this regard, smacks of an economic somersault. More so, he should have been more concerned about reviving the alien economy generally and not to distribute cash to people, because such cash will not even end up in the, in the hand of the right people who need it. The time has come for government to realize that the citizens are not fools. We are watching and we believe that infrastructural development is needed more to bring Nigeria out of its current economic valley. And Mr. President must do well to rise up to the occasion without further delay.